Hey family, this is your brother Dana coming to you from the city of Atlanta. And I just wanted to share a little bit more with you as I've been pondering my my conversation with the pastor yesterday and a few more things that when I think about it, that's why I was rubbed and so angry inside when I walked away. And um, one, one of the, the first things that I was thinking about was when he said that he and the church are not racist and then to prove that when this family uh, happened to see him and us talking and they stopped to say hi pastor he said see watch and he walked over to, like i said to this young um I, I i would say he was mixed um, but definitely you would see that he was black and he gave him a kiss on the cheek like see i'm not racist but see, what he doesn't know is that, or he does know, but doesn't know that we know, Judas also gave a kiss to Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. That didn't make him somebody that's loyal. Because see, that kiss means nothing to me regarding your spirit, Pastor. Yes, you told me that you had moved into a black community here in Atlanta. But see, if living in that community had really changed you, if living in that community had really made an impact on you, and you weren't just living there to be the great white savior where your light can shine while our black brothers and sisters are going through hell, if that neighborhood where you lived really taught you something, you would have been broken down and you would have wept. Because when we as white family members begin to see and feel the impact of our white supremacy and the oppression of white privilege and racism, systematic racism in this nation and, and, and beyond. But when we as a white family member come into personal acceptance of that and it really gets us to a place of repentance, if you have not fallen to your knees and shed tears then I have to question if you've really understood the impact. And so this pastor, kind man, of course he was a kind man, but it was the impact of his spirit and the lack of brokenness within his heart. Because if he had really felt the impact of the lives of you, my black brothers and sisters, and all that you go through while he lives or lived in this predominantly black community, his spirit would have been completely different. So family, this is your brother Dana, and I'm just sharing some more with you uh, in my walk and in my journey in discovering my own white supremacy and my own white privilege and my brokenness of what it took for me to hopefully be the person I am that hears you, my black family members, and to the best of my ability understands. But I do understand enough to know it's gotta stop. And uh, a lot, most of my white people, they ain't got a clue to the depth of their haughty white supremic spirit. So thank you for listening in family. Shalom.